Prior to her opening round success over Timia Bagos on Sunday, Kerber last tasted victory in Madrid in 2013, when she defeated Svetlana Kuznetsova in the round of 16, but that was followed by a run of four straight defeats in the Spanish capital. She fell in the quarterfinals to Ana Ivanovic in 2013, before suffering first-round defeats between 2014 and 2016 to Caroline Garcia, Sam Stosser and Barbara Strykova. With such a record, she could have been forgiven for being apprehensive in her 2017 opener against the dangerous Babos, but the German turned in a nerveless display to dismiss the Hungarian 6-4, 6-2 after an hour and 21 minutes. Kerber was at her counter-punching best on Sunday, extracting 35 enforced errors from Babos's racket. The top seed jumped out to 3-0 lead, with the double rake, and while she dropped her own serve to love in the next game, she had built a big enough lead to avert any real danger in the opening set. Two more breaks in the second set completed the trick, as she went on to complete a very comfortable victory. The score is not maybe looking like that, but at the end, every single game was really tough. Kerber said, we both run a lot. I'm happy that I won it in two sets and I played like I played today. Kerber is still searching for her first title of the season, but she has looked better as the year has progressed. After a fabulous 2016 which yielded two Grand Slam titles and a rise to the top of the WTA rankings, Kerber struggled to get going at the start of 2017, perhaps bogged down by the weight of expectation. Kerber was 4-4 at some point this year, having suffered opening round losses in Sydney and Doha, and being battered by Coco Van Dueg in the fourth round of the Australian Open, but she showed her first real signs of life in Dubai, where she reached the semi-finals. She reached the quarter-finals in Miami, and got to her first final of the season in Monterey, where she lost to Anastasia Pavlyukhenkova. She did not make the best start on clay, losing to Christine Mladi and OVIC in the opening round in Stuttgart, but she would have been very pleased to get her Madrid demons off her back with victory over Babos, winning her first match at the tournament since 2013. Can the German push on from that breakthrough, and go even further at the Kaimijika? She faces Katarina Siniakovi.